This video will teach you all about the best gas slide-in range brands and models, along with their best features. I'll show you what they have in common, their differences, and reliability based on over 34,000 real service calls logged by our service department just last year. In the end, you'll know which range is right for you. GE Profile's gas slide-in range has a 21,000 BTU burner, which is actually hotter than most professional range burners. You also have a 15,000 BTU power burner on the other side and a griddle burner in the middle. It also has a 9,500 BTU burner and a 5,000 BTU burner in the back. The main reason to buy a GE Profile, Cafe, or GE Appliance product is because of their service department. Service is an important consideration if you're buying from a store without service, which you probably are. We logged over 34,000 service calls in Eastern Massachusetts just last year. So yes, you will need service sometime in the usable life of this range. You also have a convection oven for more even heat and better baking like other ranges on this list. The oven size is exactly average at 5.6 cubic feet. If you like these kinds of videos, click subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified first, right when we release our new videos. LG Studio is a newer brand under the LG umbrella. The burners are extremely hot with a 22,000 and 20,000 BTU burner, along with a 10,000 BTU griddle burner and a 9,100 and 5,000 BTU burner in the back. That's hotter than most professional ranges on just two burners. The LG Studios oven is large at 6.3 cubic feet with pure convection. The difference between pure and regular convection is where the heat is generated from. In pure convection, the heat is emitted from a rear element behind the fan, which projects the heat. For regular convection, the heat emanates from an element on the bottom and then is distributed by the fan. Pure convection is technically better because the heat is more even, so your cookies should have identical color and texture on every rack. The window has InstaView technology. Just tap the glass to darken or lighten to see what's inside. However, LG's best feature is definitely its reliability. They're always on the top in terms of rankings. Last year was no exception. LG ranges needed service just 4.1% of the time in the first year versus 8.5% for gas ranges overall. LG manufactures more of their components in their appliances than most other brands. Bosch is still one of the most popular gas ranges. Their cooktop has five burners like most other brands with two power burners at 18,000 and 15,000 BTU and three other less powerful burners. The oven has convection, but is smaller than average at 4.8 cubic feet. Bosch does have a warming drawer so you can cook at one time and keep your food warm until later without dehydrating it. Bosch's popularity is style-based. Their industrial design looks cleaner than most other appliances. Bosch also has customer-oriented aftermarket service when problems do occur. Beko had the best availability during the pandemic and subsequent supply shortages by fulfilling orders when no other brand could. They're also the first to recognize the recession and have dropped their prices considerably from $23.99 to $14.99 after rebate. The oven is 5.7 cubic feet, which is a bit better than average. And Beko has a warming drawer like Bosch, but the Beko range is $1,000 less. The top is underpowered compared to all the other ranges on this list. You have an 18,500 BTU burner, which is good, but it drops to 12,000 BTU after that. Let's discuss what a double oven actually is. Many brands like KitchenAid, Frigidaire, and Jenner will have a baking drawer below their oven. That does not count as an oven. The Samsung Flex Dual has a smart divider to function as a double or single oven, depending on if you use the divider or not. However, there are limitations on how far the temperatures of each oven can vary from each other when they're both in use. At seven total cubic feet, Cafe has the largest oven with 2.7 cubic feet on the top and 4.3 cubic feet on the bottom. 4.3 cubic feet isn't bad considering Bosch's entire oven is 4.8 cubic feet with no second oven available. 
Cafe's double oven range is the best double oven because they can run truly independently of one another and can be used simultaneously without affecting the temperature of the other oven. So I know what you're thinking, lifting that bird from almost the ground in the larger oven is gonna be a chore, and it probably is. However, the smaller oven is ideal for cookies and casseroles, and you don't have to bend at all. It really depends on how and what you like to cook. You should look at this range in person before buying to determine if it's right for you. It's the only six burner, 30 inch stove. You may think six is excessive, kind of like I did, but the two center burners can combine to create a 19,000 BTU griddle. So if you like to use a griddle, then the cafe is an excellent choice. The other burners are 21, 15, and 12,000 BTU with a simmer burner at 5,000 BTU. You can also choose to customize your cafe with stainless steel, black, or white finishes, and with different handle styles like brass, black, and copper. We don't sell Samsung anymore, but you have to give them the props for designing a beautiful range. In fact, the whole industry then had to step up and make better looking appliances. They have the most powerful single burner at 22,000 BTU, followed by a 16,000 BTU burner, and then the standard burners with 10,000, 9,500, and 5,000 BTU. The oven is on the larger side at six cubic feet. Samsung ranges are generally reliable, or at least they were when we sold them. Samsung's main problem is servicing their products when there are issues. They're the number one most popular appliance brand in the US and they still don't have a service department. LG is the most reliable gas range brand on this list with a 4.1% service rate. Cafe Appliances is slightly above the average at 8.9%, followed by GE Profile at 9.8%. Regardless, you should always check for available appliance services in your area before you buy any product. You should also check Google, Yelp, and the Better Business Bureau for reviews and responses from people in your area. So, what do you think is the best gas range? Is it one of these six on the list? Or do you have another favorite? Let us know in the comments below. And thanks for watching.